if you are using a Duca, I'm quite sure that you see the drive is almost uh, full. And the, the session today is I will show you how to move the Duca images, the, the Duca into, let's see, D drive or maybe an external drive. So I will just start with CMD, CMD. And in the beginning, we have to shut down this. So let's shut down this Duca desktop. Now I would like to see W S no exit W S L. So you can see I have only a Duca desktop. And in the previous uh, versions of Duca, they have Duca desktop and Duca desktop data where the, the images will be saved. But in the current version, it seems they just merge it into one drive. So we will see in the beginning, we need to shut down the WSL, shut down. So now we have shut down our image. Now I will just use this command here, which is export data desktop. I mean, Docker desktop, which is this one here and save it in the directory, let's see, uh, my directory. So this will take a few minutes, depends on the, the stuff in your site, the images. Now I will have to register and register the Docker image, which is successfully. Now I will try to import this from this image that I have created, I mean from this uh, zipped file or tar file that I have created into, let's see, this directory, let me just check if I have this directory. WSL, no, it's only WSL. So I have to remove this one here. Now this will, let's see, have a look here. You can see it's extract the, the, the images in, in here. So now let me just now delete this tar image. And the next step we have to do is go to the Duca image, go to Duca, Duca desktop. I will copy this directory. Now go to setting, resources, and you can see here the default one, the default uh, directory is the C. And I will change it to why with my image. Let's see. So it's T Duca WSL. I will choose this and apply and restart. So please care for that. Uh, all the images will be moved into this directory, directory, the new one. So now it will try to restart and we will see. Perfect, so let me just make sure that it's OD and D. Go to resource again, and now you can see this is now your, uh, the image is actually now, and from now on, if you build any Docker image, it will be saved directly in this, uh, in this, in this directory. That's it for today, and it's, it's almost, it's, it's saved my life indeed, this stuff. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.